This is my tie try. It's a little bit tough to see because it has this kind of spindly growth habit. This was a hybrid that was created at uh, University of California, Riverside. And it is a hybrid between the Ponsiris trifoliate, which is the hardy orange, and the, I think it's called the Nandau sour orange, uh, Citrus Taiwa Taiwanica. And so this will grow into a bit of a tree. It's very hardy, reputedly hardy down to zero Fahrenheit or minus 18 Celsius. You can see it has the thorns kind of like a primitive uh, citrus. So that is, I have two of these. This one's the bigger one. And this will grow into a small tree with time. I just transplanted it last year, but it seems to be doing pretty good. The plant is no protection. We don't go get anywhere near those sorts of temps. Here's another one of my hardy citrus. It's actually getting a little bit of shade this time of year. Not very much, but the sun's so low on the horizon. This is a citrange, and citrange is another one of these hardy citrus. This is a uh, Ponsiris trifoliate crossed with a regular sweet orange. This one transplanted this summer late in the year and it actually has grown quite a bit probably around a foot just kind of get in here and have a look it does have thorns not quite as stabby as some of the other ones but it'll still get you pretty good uh, we've had some very dry desiccating winds so i think that's why it's looking a little the leaves are looking a little curled over, but you can see there's actually new growth still occurring on this plant. It has not stopped growing since I put it in the ground. And so this is one of the ones we're trialing here in Portland. And uh, this should also form into a small tree filled with good fruits. So the fruit are supposed to be quite good. Just a little bit more sour than your typical orange, but not bad to eat fresh. Here's one of the more common hardy citrus you'll find. This one's called a yuzu. Quite cold hardy. Zone 8 for sure. Uh, this one I got this year. Pardon the Christmas lights. And it is almost 6 feet tall. Has a lot of big thorns. See, it's still pushing new growth even though we're almost into December and this produces small fruit that uh, are used a lot as seasoning in Japanese cooking. I do have another yuzu and we'll show you that. The other one I've had for at least three years now it's doing quite well and it actually does have fruit so I will show you those in a second. Here we are with my established yuzu. This one went in as a very small plant maybe 12 to 18 inches high just basically a stick and I know that this one is grafted it's not uh, seed grown but this one has a much more compact appearance than the other one I have and it is growing on well and if we go around uh, actually you can see one right here if we zoom in you can see they are there are in fact yuzus on this tree. There's about two or three. It's the first year it's flowered for me. Uh, they should turn a yellow color when ripe. See it's one of the more primitive citrus by the shape of the leaves and the big thorns. But uh, evergreen and seems to be doing quite well. This year it really took off so hopefully good things for next year. There's another one of my hardy citrus. This is uh, the Swingle Citromello, and this is another Ponsiris hybrid, this time with Dunkin' Grapefruit. Very cold hardy, uh, into the 20s. As far as I know, it is evergreen. Uh, this is another one that I transplanted this summer that was living here. Very large thorns on this one. I haven't trimmed it because it took a little while uh, to start growing after it was transplanted when it started growing it was more towards the end of august into september so 
didn't want to trim it. I'm just kind of leaving this guy alone until spring. And then I'll just kind of prune him for shape. Another one of these evergreen has the trilobe leaf from the Ponsiris, but uh, this will grow you know, up to 12 feet. These do form into small trees or medium trees. Uh, I guess small tree would be the right term. And uh, the fruit is edible, a little sour. Most of these cold hardy citrus are. But we're trying them all out here in the Portland area. I mean, I know that most of these trees that I have have been in the ground for a number of years before I got them. Some were seed grown and uh, some I've had in the ground myself for a while. So, so far so good and not too bad for hanging Christmas lights. We are looking at my Maywa kumquat. Kumquat are another one of these more primitive citrus. Still broadleaf evergreen and uh, they're quite cold hardy. Um, down to probably a southern zone 8, but here Pacific Northwest, um, uh, 8B is about a minimum you can go. They like half day to full day of sun. And when you do get the fruit on them, they're small, um, very orange, and you eat the whole thing. Meiwa, the Meiwa variety came from Japan and is considered one of the sweetest ones. You you actually, with these, you eat the whole thing. You eat the rind and everything, so you just you can kind of pop in your mouth like a grape. Uh, it'd be like a very large grape. It did bloom for me this last year, and I actually do see a couple of small fruit. I don't think it's going to turn into anything. Right there, there's one. And there's a uh, there are actually are a few on here. Um, so this is, in my climate, I'd say this is kind of borderline. I'm 8B, 9A, but you know, we have these cold, wet, damp winters and citrus don't love it, but it has, uh, has survived for me and hopefully it will continue to survive. And this is just uh, another one of the plants in my cold hardy citrus collection. So this one's grafted onto Ponsiris rootstock so it won't it won't get big five six feet tops so kind of like a medium sized shrub here we are with the last of my cold hardy citrus this is an i chang lemon citrus citrus uh wilsonii and i got this uh this summer and i kept it inside i'm gonna grow it up a bit. I don't want to put it out. I'm afraid the rabbits will eat it uh, and I want it to get a little bit, have a little bit more time to get bigger. Um, so, you know, generally plants are a little bit more cold hardy when they're large, but the I Chang lemon, you can see the new growth there, uh, produces actually pretty decent lemons. Very good substitute for your standard lemon and reportedly hardy down to 10 degrees. So, uh, that's got to be zone 8A, uh, maybe a little bit lower. Might be able to get away with this one in 7B and, and a southeast seven, zone 7. Here in the Pacific Northwest, for sure, this is a zone 8 plant. Uh, it grows about 10 feet tall. And it it's one of these ones, it's not even grafted, it's just grown from seed, grown on its own you know, rootstock, I guess you could say. So yeah, this is the last one that I need to get out. Um, find a nice sunny spot. Obviously citrus like a lot of sun, so the more sun the better. And I think like all fruit trees, they're gonna do well with a good amount of water and fertilizer, uh, especially citrus fertilizer would be recommended.